Hey guys, welcome back to Tornado Survival, Season 5, Episode 12. And uh, in today's episode, we uh, got some cleanup to do, because unfortunately, a very devastating tornado unfortunately wiped out a very important building in this world. So, uh, I'm just going to cut straight to the chase and show you guys the clip right now. Just doing some off-camera work here, and there's a storm above the house. Uh, it's hailing. And, uh, heading right towards it. <laughs> so, uh, this could get interesting. Right now, I'm just, uh, converting all the concrete powder into concrete. Uh, over there. And, uh, the storm spawned, so just figured I'd cut in. Just in case something happened. It's kind of going at the angle of the house. Like, going directly towards it. So, uh, this, the house very well could get hit today. And that is, you know, not good. <laughs> so, I guess we'll just watch this for a second. Looks like it's turned a little bit. Well, either way, it's still going to be a close call if it uh, does turn into a tornado. Should probably get into the weather tower for this. Because, uh, God forbid I be inside of this thing. Alright, let's see what let's see what she does. Hopefully by the time it touches down, it touches down back here. I really don't want to have to rebuild the house. It's, uh, that's interesting. F1. Get back a little bit. Looks like it's heading towards the village. <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> that's not good. All right, let's get to the village, I guess. Man, you gotta worry about one thing after another. <laughs> I could have very well hit the house. It almost touched down next to it, or it did touch down next to it. It almost hit it. It's a close one for the house, but that's uh it's gonna be a closer one for this village up here. Looks like it's an F2 now. Yep, it's an F2. Which looks like it's heading directly for this village. <laughs> that's uh that's a real shame. Before um this village is completely flattened, I wanna see if there's any villagers in there that are semi-important. Uh, you're a cleric. How many entities am I looking at? It's just like, this is not the time to waste time here. <laughs> That's, uh, that tornado is ominous. Holy hell, there are a lot of villagers in here. Um... I don't know what to tell you guys, but, uh, just don't leave. <laughs> That's all I can really tell you all at this point. Back up. Alright, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> it's an F4. I'm trying to protect all the villagers here. This this village is about to get wiped out. Like there's there's no doubt about that. This uh this village is done. <laughs> it's weakening now. But um <laughs> it's going to slice right through the entire village. That's uh 
That's unfortunate. And uh, I just noticed I didn't cover up that window so all the villagers could get sucked out of that. I'm really trying to protect them all here, guys. I'm risking my life to save a bunch of homeless people. Because that's what they're about to be at this point, is homeless. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's hitting the village right now. Yep, it's hitting that house. Oh no, guys. <laughs> Ooh, that is, uh, it's going right through the middle of it. I should probably get out of here. <laughs> That's uh let's see, can I That is unfortunate. <laughs> I hope my uh thing is working. <laughs> Ooh, the entire village is gone. That waypoint is uh how do I hide the Yep, the village is gone. That is, uh, that is unfortunate. <laughs> I don't think they lived. <laughs> please tell me we still have villagers. Please tell me we still have villagers. We have one. He's my thorns guy. And he's gone. <laughs> Uh oh, there they all are. Come back! Oh no, guys. That is a direct blow to this village. Rest in peace, village. <laughs> oh man. Pure destruction. That's unfortunate. It wiped out the entire village. Oof. And this village has been through high hell and back. <laughs> Cause uh this, this is like the fourth time this village has gotten hit, but this this one was the uh the most devastating of the uh <laughs> of the lot here. Well, um, that's, uh, rest in peace to this village. 2023 to 2023. <laughs> and then you got this stupid storm which is heading that way. Alright, well, um, I think I've used up enough time in the video here, so back to the episode. So as you can see, uh, the village that is taking quite the abuse has finally met its maker. Um... An EF4 tornado completely destroyed it. And uh, we also have some damage over here from that tornado as well. There's a hurricane. Which is heading towards that village. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've got some damage over here from when that tornado touched down. Which is what we're going to... We're, we're This entire episode is going to be focused on cleanup. Because... Um, I think this is the first episode where we've had... Something's wrong with my chair. Come on now. Um, I think this is the first episode where we've had uh, tornado damage. So we're going to just dedicate this episode to cleaning up and, you know, building a little memorial in that village for them. Um, there are a few houses in that village, I think two or three, that are not, you know, completely flattened. So I would like to fix any damage on those houses, and I would like to pretty much just turn it into a little memorial area where we can, um, you know, say our farewells to those villagers. Because I, I tried to save them, <laughs> as you can see in that clip, I put red concrete all around them, and they all still died. So uh, <laughs> I knew I should have uh, surrounded the walls. Um, the damage over here is quite significant. Um, it's not the end of the world, but, um, 
It is a little annoying that this flower forest is getting uh, destroyed. Um, I was quite happy with this forest. So, uh, it's unfortunate that it's finally going. <clears throat> um, I'll try my best to repair this area the best I can um, with the resources that I have. Um, there are quite a few number of trees over here that did get wiped out, which is unfortunate. So, uh, we're gonna have to replant all of these, but luckily I'm gonna get a lot of wood out of this, because, uh, I'm having to chop so many trees. And I'm actually, this is the second episode I'm recording today. Um, I didn't expect to record this episode. But, um, to be honest, I don't really feel like waiting to record this. Like, look, there's debris over here from the village. <laughs> Um, because that stair wasn't there before. I'm sure there's going to be debris scattered everywhere. Because, um, it did wipe out a number of houses. I gotta sneeze. <coughs> oh, that hurt a little bit. No. Is this tree damaged? No, this tree's, uh, yeah, it's a little bit. But, uh, we can sacrifice some of these leaves to repair the tree. So if I chop down this tree, I have to chop down all these trees. There, that's good enough. <laughs> so let's just clean up the rest of these. And, uh... We've got a lot of cleanup to do at that village. Like, there's water everywhere from those farms. I don't know where these mushrooms came from. But I'm, I'm not gonna question it. And, uh, it's probably gonna be a while before all this grass regrows. So I'm probably gonna have to put maybe like, I don't know, a couple hours of playtime on the world before any of this fully regrows. Um, I'd like to get all these floating logs out of here because uh, it's just bringing down the property value if I'm being honest. <laughs> I'm quite heavy when it comes to property value in this game. So if I ever want to sell this place and it's gotta look good. Um, there are going to be quite a few things missing over here now, like all these trees. I'm going to I'm gonna do my best to replant them all. Um, it's not going to be the exact same, because I don't really remember what all this looked like over here. I know it was a mixture of spru or a mixture of birch and oak, so I'll try to do that. Um, no promises, like I said, you can see how uh, <laughs> big that path got. Um, I'm gonna clean up all of it. I'm not gonna clean up anything that got hit in the desert. I don't think there is anything in the desert that got hit. There's another storm. Please don't hit. Okay, it's heading away. I don't care what that storm does then. <laughs> I was trying to say, please don't be heading this way. Because <laughs> then we'd have to rebuild more things. Um, so yeah, I think this is the first direct hit we've had this season. Um... Oh, that's a lag spike. I don't know what that was about. Um. Alright. I was kind of surprised it didn't happen on a live stream, because most tornadoes and hits for me have happened on live streams. But I haven't streamed in a while, so, uh, <laughs> again, that doesn't really surprise me. Looks like this is going to Oh yeah, there's a number of trees over here that uh, got hit by a hurricane in that one episode. I'll have to clean all that up too. I'm probably just going to have to chop down all the trees over here. Replant them all. Over there is a mess. It's been a couple tornadoes that have gone through that dark oak forest over there. I'm going to go clean out my inventory because my inventory looks like Switzerland. I love a cold Coca-Cola at 4.10 in the morning. I don't think I'm going to bother chasing this storm. Because, um... That's not what I'm focused on this episode. <clears throat> if I'm being honest, I'm focused on getting that village... Or what was a village cleaned up. And, uh... Looking semi-better. Um, I was hoping to use those villagers to breed. Um... So what I'm going to have to do is that that village over there that hasn't been hit, surprisingly, I'm going to have to put all those villagers underground 
um, somewhere where they can't get uh, sucked up by tornadoes and uh, build a breeder down there because uh, we need villagers in this world. I don't feel like having to travel to a village several hundred blocks away and bring them over here by boat. So that's uh, that just ain't gonna happen. <laughs> um, try to clean out my junk of an inventory, and I'm also need some of this dirt. Should be enough, hopefully. I'll just finish out this stack, and then I'll just get one more stack. Six stacks of dirt, that should do. How are we looking on daylight? I'm gonna bring this bed with me again. Um, unless if there's another village off that way that I haven't been to yet, then uh, we should probably watch that tornado. That's a new siren sound, by the way, guys, just in case you haven't heard it yet. Uh, I don't think I've done an episode other than the last episode, but I don't think I've done an episode with this new resource pack where the siren has gone off. So, so yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean up all this later. All these trees, because this is going to be a big project on its own. But I just want to show you guys just kind of what's left of this village. Uh, if you want to call it that at this point this point we might as well just call this place Yemen because that's what it looks like um it's quite the disaster over here um I really did try to save the villagers I uh, I really tried but it's it's not what happened and you can see all the screenshots I took I'm gonna clear this chat because it's ridiculous so uh yeah it's quite the mess over here we've got a uh, a lot of cleaning up to do so I guess we better get started um, I first want to go ahead and pick up all this crap because this could come in handy one day um, I don't know if I actually have beetroot growing in the uh, farm at the other base but um, if I don't well we're gonna start having it grow I actually haven't been to that base in a little bit, so I wonder how that farm is looking. I don't know if I've harvested it yet. Um, but it would be nice to have all this extra stuff for uh, future builds, just in case I want to build like a bigger crop farm later on. Which I probably will. Um, I might... I don't know if I want to leave this farm here. Now, there's a few houses that are still here, these two. So, basically, we're just gonna repair the holes on these, and we're just gonna let them be. I'm gonna get rid of all the paths, which, actually, there's only two blocks missing on this house. It's incredible. But, uh, I'm gonna patch up all this water, and then, um you know, clean up all this uh, random dirt and all these farms. So, yeah, I guess we better get started. This is going to be quite the, uh, quite the annoying thing to do here. <laughs> it's been a while since I've had to clean up a village. Um, if you guys remember in Season 2 when that um, village we lived at got hit, I don't think I ever cleaned it up. <laughs> the final time we got hit I should say I don't think I ever cleaned that that village was a mess it's weird that this is gravel then all of this was uh, grass paths that's a little weird I think it's because this is in a uh, desert we're just gonna cover this up here it's not like uh, anybody needed the well water anyways <laughs> And that does not exist and yeah this place is pretty ugly it's more ugly than it is pretty <laughs> this place is an absolute train wreck um so yeah this is probably gonna take uh this entire episode to clean up 
Um, I didn't expect to be doing this this episode. I was going to start on the barn this episode. I wasn't even going to record this. <laughs> but, um, you know, we haven't had a direct hit this season yet. And I don't think we had a direct hit at all in season four. At least on video. So, uh, you guys haven't seen something get absolutely destroyed since season two. <laughs> Because in season three, it was only like one or two episodes. So, yeah. <laughs> Figure you guys deserve to see it. So, <laughs> alright. Let's go ahead and clean up the rest of this water. And, uh, I am going to try to make this place look, you know, seemingly better. It's not going to be 100% perfect. But, uh, like all the weird looking terrain. <laughs> I'm gonna clean up. So, yeah. Hopefully, while I'm over here, this grass starts regrowing because, uh, yeah, this place is uh, a disaster like I've seen a couple times now. So, I think you guys are not gonna wanna see me clean the rest of this up. So, I'm gonna cut out. I'm gonna get most of this cleaned up and then we'll finish out with this village when I'm ready to build the little memorial so uh, I'll be back in a second yeah uh oh there's another storm <laughs> uh, I really hope this is not gonna hit anything <laughs> I was over here clearing out my inventory that uh yeah this thing's here now it looks like it's on path for the weather tower and um, if the weather tower gets hit that's gonna be really annoying <laughs> hope it uh, decides to turn here which it looks like it has, thank god. So, um, I was over here gathering the supplies needed for the, uh, village thing. I'm pretty much done cleaning it up. Um, I still haven't cleaned up all the debris. Um, I'd like to get a sign and maybe a few more to go with it. Um... And then we're gonna see what the storm is doing because uh, it's not good. <laughs> it's nice to see we're finally getting some tornado action up in here. Uh, looks like the, this is reset. Oh, yeah, that, uh, that's long gone now. Thank God. That tornado looks like Long John Silver's. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll chase it for a little bit. It's an F1. Uh, looks like I might be heading southwest. The squid just died, that's a shame. Another tornado for the episode. <laughs> it's not uh, often you get two tornadoes in one episode now. I uh, turned down the storm rate just a little bit. I set it to one day instead of half a day, because uh, I don't know, I'd rather not lose my base <laughs> this early on in the season. I feel, uh, is that a wolf up there? Yeah, I, I don't want to be in this tornado. Get me out. An F2 already. Uh, I don't know if there's anything out there for it to hit, but uh, so I'll keep an eye on it. So um, I think uh, instead of sitting here getting sucked on by a tornado, um, we're going to try to make our way over to the um, wasteland that I call a village and um, let me go will ya and uh, we're gonna finish up this village and um, clean it up the rest of the way Three. clean it up the rest of the way and um, put a little memorial in there for them because uh, a lot of villagers did lose their lives to this which is it's unfortunate but uh, what can you do? That forest over there has seen better days, I'll tell you that. <laughs> um, after a while, there's not going to be many trees left over here. Um, which, I've got to get more trees planted around the house. Because uh, it's a little weird over there right now. can't even remember where this is uh, fully. It's over here somewhere. It's weird that... All these acacia trees don't have uh, leaves. 
I have uh, these on my grab list. I don't know why they're not getting picked up. Uh, this is uh, somewhere. It's hard to know where it is now because it doesn't pop up on the mini map. Because uh, it's all so destroyed. Right, so it still looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger over here, but um, it's uh, it's looking better, <laughs> I guess you could say. I cleaned up all the water. Um, there's still some gravel paths, but I'll clean those up later. So basically, I just want to put a wall around these two houses. Um, just put a little wall. Something Donald Trump didn't do. Or did he? I don't know. <laughs> so just like this. I'm not gonna use this for anything, of course, but uh I should probably perhaps move this a little bit. Do this and then bring it up. I made four stacks of uh, walls here, so we have the amount of walls we need forever, honestly. And then, of course, the door to this. Just connect it right here. Just like this. Double it up here. Double it or give it to the next person. <laughs> Bring this up just like this. Boom, and our wall is done. And I'll just put torches on all of these. And then I'll put torches on the houses. And since this was the house, I had to repair. Memorium. Um, I don't remember how to spell this. To the villagers who lost oh, dang it. lost there actually this should be on this block here rest in peace to the villagers who lost their lives to this tornado uh, what is today's date also, I meant to put in memoriam. All right, we're just gonna screw around with this for a little bit. <laughs> in memoriam to the villagers <laughs> who lost their lives to this nasty EF4 tornado. Oh, you can't put tornado. EF4 tornado. There we go. Rest. August 23rd, 2023. That's the date of this recording. So that's, uh, yeah. Alright, so rest in peace to all the villagers. Um, this tornado was nasty. <laughs> uh, I really should not have spent that long typing out those signs, but it's fine. It's not like I have anything else better to do. I'm gonna run out of torches here, so that's uh, unfortunate. It's fine, I'll get more later. So yeah, that's, uh, that's it for this village, I guess. I'm gonna kill you. There was another house over there that could have been repaired, but I uh, chose not to repair it, and I just chose to get rid of it. The front half of it was uh, yanked off. So yeah, that's, uh, that's it for this village. Um, I don't feel like this episode has been nearly long enough, so just see if we can find anything quick to do before I call it a wrap. I know this isn't the best episode I've recorded recently, but um, hey, finally something got hit. Uh, I told you guys it was a matter of time, and uh, a matter of time it was. It's been a while. Um, I haven't fully cleaned up over here yet. The grass is still growing. Um, 
it's still a mess throughout here, as you can see by that tree. This is stuff I'm going to clean up after I go, oh my god. This is um, stuff I'm going to clean up after I end off this episode. Because uh, this is probably going to take me an hour to fully clean. Make it look good. Then I want to plant some more trees around here because it's looking pretty bare. And there's just like a random square of trees here and it does not look good. <laughs> so uh, we're going to clean that as well. I'm trying to gather as much gunpowder as I can because I would like to take on the dragon sometime in the next 10 episodes. So it's going to be nice to have plenty of gunpowder to go around. But uh, luckily none of those tornadoes hit anything in the base. Um, that one earlier that I touched down over there, that one had me a little nervous. Because uh, that started uh, a lot sooner and a lot further back. So if that were to touch down, then that would have probably destroyed the house. Because I'm sure it would have gotten up to an F1 by the time it got to it. And uh, you know, if... Uh, a tornado hits the house just right, I can completely destroy it. I was trying to get a music disc there, but uh, I guess not. So yeah. We definitely gotta be more weather alert in this world. Because um, it seems the storm rate is picking up. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> trying to get to level 30 again. So I'm gonna chant some more stuff, maybe. I want to get a backup set of stuff going as well. That would be nice to have. Wish that would stop happening. You know, I'm not going to be able to sleep with you around. As well as you. I usually spend an entire night killing mobs around the house that keep coming up to me. <laughs> There's just so many zombies. It's also nice to see all my sheep are gone. Like, bro literally just spawned in right in front of me. This is not fair. <laughs> How many of you are there? And there's a spider. Like, bruh, three more. Got an infestation problem. Definitely, uh... But then one of these episodes, we're going to put lights in, this tr in these trees, because uh, this is getting a little ridiculous. I might just build a mob switch, honestly. Like, look, I got 41 rotten flesh out of all that. Like, bruh. Another F1 tornado. It's a tornado from earlier. So, yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the tornado. I'm going to try to sneak in some more tornadoes. Um, in the next couple episodes, hopefully. Um, it is also a matter of time before a tornado does unfortunately hit the base, but um, I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy that, <laughs> nonetheless. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping you guys are enjoying um, the way the season is now going, and I'm actually really enjoying this mod again. Um, I guess it was nice to see something finally take a hit. Um, after we build the barn, um, I would like to get a railway from here over to the other base. You know, that's way over there. Um, so that's also on the to-do list. I was thinking of that while I was fixing the village. I was thinking, hey, we should get a railway. Because, <laughs> uh, who doesn't love a good old railway? I built one last season, never finished it. I got pretty close to finishing it. <laughs> the railway system last season, like... I had it connecting from the house way over to a, oh come on, over to a, I think it was a zombie farm, and it was uh, quite far away. Uh, I'm gonna have to sacrifice this tree right here. <laughs> Stupid creepers. I'm trying to keep that tree there, I like that tree. So yeah, let's just rebuild this real quick. It's not going to be perfect, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, we'll just give this edge a little haircut. Alright, go away dude. Don't blow up, don't blow up. All this stupid grass around here. So yeah, um, I've got a few ideas. Um, 
The railway last season, that, I think that was a little too much. <laughs> um, connecting it from here to there shouldn't be too bad. Uh, it might be a little annoying. But um, I want to go check on this farm real quick, see how it's doing. I haven't been over here in a while. Um, some of you probably haven't even seen this base yet. I did an episode or two on it. But uh, in episode 9, um, which was a while back, now I haven't played in this world in a while because I can't even remember where this base is. Um, interesting. I think it's over here. Uh, see, it, it's, it's around here somewhere, guys. Trust me. say goodbye to this uh, tree. Here it is. Gonna see how this farm's looking. It has not grown. I should probably build a chunk loader over here. I don't know if you can make those on this version. So yeah. Um, then we also have the storage room up here. here and you got a nice little gray window to see outside if you choose and yeah it's not a bad base over here I'm actually really happy with this place I uh, want to start using it some more I want to get some more farms in here maybe um, so yeah it's not a bad little area I'll probably have a trap door that goes down in this corner or something two yeah, I'll probably have a trap door that goes down in one of these corners, and then uh, it'll lead to the railway system. It's uh, kind of my thinking. I don't know if I'm going to do the redstone stuff. It really depends on what else I build that requires a railway tunnel to connect everything together. Um, yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode. It's been a pretty eventful episode. Um, saw the village get hit, had a close call with the house. Uh, two close calls, actually. I should add, because that uh, could have been more disastrous. Both of those storms could have been a lot more disastrous. The first one was a lot more devastating. But the first one, um, it could have touched down somewhere around here, you know, clipped the house, and then grew into an F1 and all that crap and destroyed the house. That, that could have happened, then it could have destroyed the village, too. The second tornado, like, you see this tornado went at an angle. So it could have touched down over there, hit the house, and hit the tower, and then hit the village. That would have sucked. <laughs> the second tornado, that could have touched down, hit the house. That, uh, that would have been pretty rough. That'd be, like, two or three episodes of rebuilding that I have to do, because this is a pretty big house. I think we can all agree on that. I'm pretty good at building big houses in Tornado Survival. I really like this house though, it's not bad. It's uh, one of the better houses I've built in this series. I think season one has the best house, probably. Exterior wise, I think this is the best interior. So the season two house was too small and I didn't have any mods in that world. Furniture mods, that is. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap up this episode here. Thanks for watching. Um, in the description, there's a link to my Discord, my Twitter, my Twitch, mods I use in this world, my resource pack, and just a couple other things if you want to check all those out. A little bunker down here, I forgot about this. <laughs> uh, I never come down here, I might start using this, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to check all that out, there will be links in the description. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will uh, see you all in the next one. Bye.